The outcry for change across the country comes from a long history of oppression against the African American community. In recent years, New Orleans had ma has made steps to remove symbols of racism. In 2017, under former Mayor Mitch Landrieu, four Confederate monuments were taken down across the city. Now, three years later, more changes are set to take place. Megan Key joins us live in the French Quarter with more. Megan? Good morning. Yes, as protests continue to spark across the nation, we've seen other cities taking down Confederate and white supremacist statues. Now, I'm outside of Jackson Square where Andrew Jackson's statue stands, and you might be asking, why is this statue so controversial? Well, according to the History Channel, Andrew Jackson owned as many as 161 slaves and was known for his cruel treatment of them. Now, this is the first monument taken down NOLA wants to get rid of, and they want to have it gone by the end of the month. Now, the group also wants to rename streets, parks, and schools that are named after white supremacists. The New Orleans City Council could soon be on board with this. Next week, council members will introduce a proposal that would create a committee to make recommendations to rename st streets, parks, and places in New Orleans that honor white supremacists. Now, if that motion is approved, Take em Down NOLA wants to then team up with the council to help in the renaming process and figure out what should replace the statues in question. At the group's rally yesterday, members explained why this change is so important. If people were to think of um, Jews from the Holocaust, there's not a Jewish grandmother out there worth her weight in salt that would allow a statue of Hitler to be in front of her grandchildren on a day-to-day -day basis or to have them in a school named after of any of his allies or any of the streets named after them. Um, and there's a reason because symbols matter. Well, the city council plans to bring up the proposal for the renaming advisory committee at a city council meeting happening on Thursday. Reporting live outside of Jackson Square, Megan Key, Eyewitness News. Megan, thank you very much.